with Harvest Hills Ranch and it's been a while since I made a video so I am um, gonna take you through our heat uh, protection protocols for our animals since uh, yesterday with the heat index it was 111 so this is how we're keeping everybody safe and comfortable and alive so we moved our chickens to um, this area this was actually my watermelon patch at one point um, so we have a bunch of millet and different high grasses so the chickens can actually come out and forage in here with the bugs there's actually a watermelon <laughs> Right there <laughs> they're still growing um so that way they can get some extra nutrition some seeds um get some bugs and still be out be able to forage but also head back into the coop um where we have fresh running water uh in there off of a pump and that way they're constantly able to get uh cold water and have access to uh food that's not been baked in the sun and they can come outside and forage um under um the taller grass so there's the chickens all right, so I'm at the uh, duck area. Um, as you can tell, it's hard to keep the fencing in because the ground's so hot, it's like putting uh, the fencing into cement. Um, but right now, we were able to give the ducks a tree, um, have their pools there, so they're able in the hottest part of the day to go to their pools and the water's not boiling hot like tea water. Um, also, we put extra uh, tarping structures um, on top of the tractors to help keep the sun off of them. The other reason they're white as well, it helps to refract the sunlight. So these guys have a nice uh, little plop of hay that was left over from last year um, to get bugs and forage and to hide their eggs in. And uh, then they have their uh, pools right there. So they're just living it up today. Um, it is actually a little bit of overcast today. So it's not so terrible. Like I'm not looking like I'm crying with sweat. So it's been um, very interesting. So these guys, I do change out their pool water. Um, throughout the day to make sure one that's clean because ducks never like clean water I don't know why but to keep it cool so we're gonna head out to the cows all right so I am with the cows so uh, there's our bull right there big boy <laughs> um, Penelope's right behind me and uh, yep there they are so we make sure they have several trees we can't always do that so what we end up having to do is make bigger paddocks than we normally would um, to ensure they have a tree to go under in the hottest part of the day we're running about 105 heat index 111 to 112 um, we have a couple of hotter days uh, coming this week so we're um, doing everything we can we are unfortunately running out of grass so we have some decisions to make with that and uh, hmm. So we'll figure that out when the time comes, but uh, for now they are able to still forage on the grass we have. We still have some, you can see some on the fence line still, but you can kind of see the, we have a little bit of green. We got rain maybe, oh my gosh, an hour's worth, about maybe a week ago. Um, it was enough to keep everything from completely dying, but not enough to really give us that we need. So um, before that it hadn't rained in about six weeks. So we are, um, doing our thing they look really good they're still happy and healthy and uh, super shiny and um, so yeah they look really good uh, we have definitely uh, heat protocols in place um, we have our mineral profile and then we have some uh, other things uh, salts and so forth um, for them uh, just to keep them as hydrated as possible so off to the meat birds so we got our feed order this morning, yay, and then uh, we're expanding our chickens. Um, we actually canceled this batch that would be in the brooder right now. I just, it's too hot. Um, so we're uh, expanding it so we can run uh, extra batches this fall, and that way we don't run out. <laughs> All right, now to the meat birds. Well, before we head out there, I'm going to show you this. So. Keeping a garden and a drought alive has been a challenge. And then you come to this. So this was my cucumbers. That was my okra. That was way up here. And yeah, you can see the lines down. And yeah, so deer. Um, yeah, so months and months of work. Gone overnight. Yay. That's really disappointing. Like, that was a lot of work. And go. All right. Back to the meat birds. Just to kind of show you, this is usually uh, grass up to about mid-calf this time of year. Um, we have a few spots of green still, but we are uh, definitely haven't seen it look this bad. Like, you can actually see our tire tracks. 
uh, from the gator to the chickens every day. Um, yeah, this is the worst it's probably ever been. We apparently live in a desert now. So here's the meat birds. They, um, I've already watered them, so they're super happy. Um, keeps their um, internal temperature low, so that way they are um, comfortable um, when the hottest part comes. And then, of course, I get ice water and um, a bunch of different other protocols we do to help them maintain the heat. So these guys have been acclimated to the heat, so they're doing really well. Um, so I'm actually... Uh, Really proud of my meat birds because no, actually there's a lot of big farms that actually don't even have chicken. They they refuse to run it. Um, they actually quit. So there's not really many uh, farms running chickens anymore um, the right way. So we're still doing it, and we're gonna expand and um, make the batches bigger um, in more optimal times of the year. So we're not uh, running this time. We're just really low on stock and uh, a little bit behind because of little Dayton. So uh, we're making it happen. So. They are happy, comfortable, and uh, they get watered like a garden. Uh, we flood them a little bit. Um, we don't do misters. Um, that just creates more humidity, uh, makes their internal body heat go higher. Uh, it just really isn't anything that actually would help these guys. Um, this pasture has, unfortunately, the only tree that's in this pasture right now uh, is dead. Um, it's really actually sad. I don't know if you can see it. He's, yeah, right there. Um, big, beautiful oak. Just couldn't survive the heat, so it's a... Uh, actually really sad to lose a tree it kind of breaks my heart but i'm gonna get all these guys moved water fed and gritted and uh there you go guys it's uh it is definitely hot 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 and um we're doing the best we can to keep everybody safe comfortable and alive and uh we uh started this ranch saying we would never torture or put an animal into harm's way so we're upholding that promise and I have the best tan of my life, but not for doing anything fun. So anyway, guys, Leah, heal her out. I'm going to get these guys taken care of and go feed Dayton. Bye.